Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my finish for by the 4th of July um, introduction video. This challenge was started by Amber F and I will link her channel below. Um, and it's similar to the finish five by Cinco de Mayo and finish seven by Spring Tags, where you're just given a point in time that you would like to set as a goal to finish products by. So she mentioned that she is not going to be um, starting this until she finishes the finished five by Cinco de Mayo tag. However, personally, just for me, um, I do better, I think, with more challenges than less because um, it gives me something to focus on. So I don't just um, use one product, put it down and pick another one the next day or whatever. So um, I finished. So I figured I would just start this right now. So I've selected five products, two of them I'm counting as one. So let's just get started and I'll show you the products. The first item is a body care item. It is the Boots Mango Body Butter. And I purchased this in December of 2013. Um, it came with a body scrub and a shower gel, which I also haven't used yet, but this is the butter here. So that's my progress, um, or this is my starting point, I guess I could say. Um, and this smells like so divine. It smells literally like mangoes and I don't know what they put in here, but it kind of like triggers a, um, like your salivary gland or whatever, where it makes me like literally want to eat it. Um, so I think I should be okay to finish this. I had three body butters that I kind of have my eye on for, um, the sh a short while here that I'm trying to use and this is one of them. So this one I think will be good as we get into the warmer weather because it's not as heavy um, as some of the other body butters that I have. The next products I have are what I'm counting as one product. They are two um, BB creams. One is the Pacifica Natural Skin Care Alight Multi-Mineral BB Cream. So it's this product here. And then the next one is the Hand Skin Bio Origin Wrinkle Talk BB Cream with SPF 30. So that's what this looks like. Um, I purchased this one at Target um, around the same time as the Body Butter, December 2013. And I've um, received this Hand Skin BB Cream in a Mimi box um, back in 2014 sometime. So I've used both of these products and the reason why I use them together is um, as the name suggests in the Pacifica product, a light, it's a little bit too shimmery for me, so I like to kind of tone it down by using this more gray um, BB cream from Hand Skin. So, um, all together, this is, let me see if it shows here, 0.68 fluid ounces, and I probably used um, maybe a quarter of each of these products, so I think I still have a good amount left, and um, it'll be good for me to focus on some of my BB um, creams and foundation bases and things like that because I'm interested in purchasing some more at the Sephora sale that's I think will be happening in April so it will be good if I can just get some of them out of my collection. The next product I want to focus on um, I purchased in January of 2014 it came as part of the Tarte Bow and Go set um, their holiday collection it is a Tarte Lip Surgeon's lip cream in the shade Precious so um, as you can see, this is the original tip here. It's been used a few times, but um, nothing major. And it's a really pretty pink shade, so I think this will be great for the spring. And this is what the shade looks like here. So um, I think that'll be really nice to use, and it won't be a product that I really have to put a lot of effort in to put on my lips. And last product. Um, I think it's going to be the most challenging. It is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Creamy Beige. So I've been using this probably for maybe three months, and I don't feel like I've made any progress at all, but I'm sure I've made some. So this is what it looks like right now. I think this product is going to be pretty difficult to measure, but I'm hoping that over time you'll just be able to um, visually see the progress that I'm making without any markings or anything like that. So those are my four products for the Finish Four by the 4th of July challenge. And if you are taking part in this or planning to, please let me know below. I'd love to come and check out your video or your Instagram or whatever. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye.